Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Immortals of Avium on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on Immortal difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we took part in the path. We learned a few new abilities. We succeeded and we have now reached the rank of Immortal. We then gave a beautiful speech to all of our troops and we are now at a party enjoying our new rank and we now have the option to speak to everybody or retire to our quarters. Now I already spoke to a few people in the previous video but there's a couple more people I want to speak to and then we're going to head back to our quarters. So yeah, let's get straight into things. Now as I turn the game off, I'm not sure if the game is going to recognise that I already spoke to four people. So I'll speak to the remaining three and hopefully the trophy pops up, the missable trophy. But if not, I'm just going to go to my quarters because we already spoke to them. But just make sure you speak to everybody before you go back to your quarters if you want to get the platinum trophy. Otherwise, you're going to have to redo the entire game just to get back to this mission. So yeah, make sure you speak to everybody. Right, I think we've already done these four. I think it's just this guy right here. That lady over there, and I think we have to speak to Devon as well. Uh, this is going to sound like a really weird question. Didn't you see me die in the path? That's the one. You were the candidate that, uh, got horribly crushed by, well, you know. I do. Horrible stuff, am I right? At least it wasn't as bad as my last goat selection. I took a nasty spill into a pit of quicksand, head first. Took me the whole next summer to restore my equilibrium and good spirit. If I never suffocate to death again, it will be too soon. Unbelievable. Ah, I see. You were told you could be killed during your test. They tell that to every first-timer. It won't they kill you? Am I right? They totally lied to the me. Senses razored. Don't fuck up in there. They made it sound like I was going to lose my soul or something. Just your self-respect, I'm afraid, and theirs. Honestly, probably the Pentasards as well. No Magnus wants to pledge their life ward and then shit the bed. I know, but still. When you think about it, though, wasting a talented, well-trained Magnus on a silly death trap when they could instead die capturing a hill at the front is a terrible trade, and, well, also a stupid one. And Kirken's definitely not that. So what, the path just resurrects you? She's her own transitory fold between worlds, and she'll make her own rules while you're inside, thank you very much. If you waste her time by dying, she'll spit you back into the lobby with egg on your face. <laughs> Ugh. Where are my manners? Congratulations on your success, Jack of the House Unforeseen. The kingdom is better for your coming. I'm Magister Greaves of House Belmay, three-time selection washout, and now champion of your name and deeds. It's an absolute honor to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Bye. That's a bit rude. All right, Belming. I should go. Now, when I speak to people in this game, it really reminds me of Oblivion. Just the way that they stand and the way that their animations are and the tone of their voice. Oh, man. Oh, you want to go on to... I know I keep speaking about Todd Howard at the moment for some reason, but you want to go on to YouTube. I think there's like a, a test bit of dialogue where uh, Todd Howard like temporarily voiced a character in Oblivion just before they had the voice actors. It was like a stand-in bit of dialogue. And I think somehow someone got access to it, probably on PC, digging into the files. It's fucking hilarious. Go, go and give it a listen. <laughs> There's not much difference to the actual voice acting in the bloody game, though. No. The voice acting in Oblivion is probably the only thing that I have a, a bad opinion of. It is horrendous. <laughs> Everything else, 10 out of 10. Ambassador Damily, it's been a while. Indeed. The immortal glyph looks good on you, Jack. Kinda does, huh? What brings you so far from the Northern Court? Hmm. I suppose that you're an older Magnus now, so I can't keep secrets from you any longer. The King has appointed me as royal advisor to the Palathon in his time of... absence. Tell me about the King's absence. You're here because of the King's absence. I don't understand. Sandrak's siege of the capital. It's worsened. The Lightless don't know how bad it is. Kirkin's even been given emergency powers by the Crown. The Palafon's the acting capital of Lucium? That means Lavenry's nearly fallen. She never bothered to tell me. The North will soon be lost to us, Jack. The King's in hiding. I'm surprised you weren't informed, with you being one of Kirkin's closest confidants. Curious. 
Yeah, well, you know, I was busy training and busy, you know, trying to become an immortal. She didn't want to distract me with other stuff, did she? See ya. I have to go, Ambassador. All right, now nah, we've got to speak to Devon, and I think Devon speaks even more than me. People like to complain about how much I commentate because they want me to be lazy or something in my videos. A bit weird, actually, but Devon, he makes me sound like a mute. So, what she make you see? What? The path? Yep. She's long on visions, that one. I spent as much time reliving my father's disappointment in me as I did fighting phantoms of the enemy. Well, I... One yeah. more right cock-up like that and you'll never get accepted into the academy. Then what, Devin? Spending the rest of your days conjuring up fertility spells for the county dirt farmers? I gave him the accent like that for effect, by the way. And the volume. In reality, he was quite cultured and hardly ever spoke above a whisper. That sounds really terrible. Wow. That's... A disturbingly low whisper, too. Like this. <laughs> he could make a room cold in the summer with it. <sighs> Horrible. But he's dead now. Dear Pop. My older brother took over from the family business. Rugs. And I'm an awful merchant, so that meant off to the war for me. <laughs> Where's your family from? Were you? The path made sure I knew my true calling is what I'm trying to say. I'm good at war, Jack. Great at it. I hate that. Now, where were we? You're just going to talk over me, aren't you? I don't think so. Oh man, you have got a lot to say. And also he said I don't think so, so he might talk over me. Got anything juicy on Kirken? So what don't I know about Kirken that I probably should? She ever tell you the story about the arm? It's never come up. Five years and it's never come up. Uh-huh. You and everyone else are just too scared to ask. Fine. So what's with her arm? I haven't asked. Can you not? I didn't even know there was anything wrong with her arm. What's wrong with her arm? She's got a normal arm as far as I know. Yeah, I don't even know. What do I do to piss off Zendara? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I get the distinct impression Zendara doesn't like me. At all. She's, well, not really a big fan of the Unforeseen. She made that pretty clear. It's not her best look, I know. But she's royalty. They've always been suspicious of Magni born outside of their jurisdiction. Royalty. No lie. She's a Kalthusian princess, Awazendara. Her family still holds the Glaive Gate despite everything Sandrak's done to that country. Don't worry, Jack. She'll come around. That sounds like a lie. There's so many different districts in this game and different areas. They talk about all of these places like I know what the hell they are when I don't. <laughs> But yeah, so basically she doesn't like me because I'm a magic person that came from a poor background. That's basically what you're saying, ain't it? <laughs> she's a bitch, basically. What do you know about Orfe? Oh, she's the one, the uh, one with the blindfold, isn't she? The one that sees the future and speaks in bloody riddles. I met Orfe on my way to the Palathon. What's their deal? They're one of our intelligence officers. A seer of considerable power. Orfe's great. Sometimes you have to cut through the static if you know what I mean, but it's worth it. Yeah, I caught some of that. Get to know them more. It's good to have a seer watching out for you. You should also meet Hauser, though it seems like he decided not to show tonight. How typically rude. He's another immortal? Indeed. Bit of a bigwig from the Northern Court who plays at being mysterious, treats the Order more as a hobby than a calling. Don't tell him I said that. I'm sure he'll turn up at some point. Yeah, he will, because that's another person you've got to keep speaking to. All these people that we've spoken to, I think most of them, you want to keep speaking these, or speaking to these all the way up until the end of the game to get all the trophies. All right, I'll see you around. They'll have new dialogue options for you. Yeah, so now the trophy would pop up, but because I turned the game off yesterday when I recorded, uh, I've got to re-speak to everybody, but I'm not going to. But if you've spoken to everyone, the trophy socialite should pop up. All right, there we go. Sorry for all the chit chat we've done in the uh, ending of the previous video and the beginning of this one, sorry, but there's lots of important stuff in there, lots of bit of lore, bit of information about the game, certain characters, I felt like it was worth speaking to them all. But I won't be speaking to them no more, don't worry. <laughs> Unless I need to for like actual quest objectives, but optional stuff, I probably won't speak to them ever again. <laughs> so yeah, you ain't gonna have to worry about that. Oh, hello. The thing with these is, you know that you know that the uh, thing you need to shoot has to be in eye, in like so it has to be. You have to be able to see that to throw one of limp, the limpets at it. So you know that the bloody uh, thing you've got to shoot needs to be nearby, or at least in view of both the chest and the light you need to shoot. 
a pain in a bloody ass. <laughs> but I don't like running around for hours looking for the thing I need to shoot. That's the bloody, uh, probably the most difficult thing in this game. Trying to find the flipping uh, things that you need to shoot. The different colour crystals and that. Lovely, cheeky bit of gold. I don't actually know how much money we've got. I don't know how we've been doing. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's easy. Oh, that's perfectly timed. Oh, nice. With some essence. Blue and green. Probably the two I use the most. Mind you, we do want to get quite a bit of red essence because once we unlock a new ability, probably in the next video, that's one of the best abilities, especially on Immortal difficulty. And you want to get a really good thing with red essence with that. This place is stunning. Holy yeah. shit, look at this. Oh, no, you're, you're, you've hit the big time now. You have, Jack. Look at this. It's like we're staying in Trump Tower or whatever it's called. <laughs> I'm not trying to take mana. Oh, nice. A bunch of red essence. I would have preferred blue, mind you. It's probably the first sleep we've had in the, in the entire playthrough. That was a day. If that was a week, more like it. Hand of Sandra. Good morning, Jack. Morning, sir. I think I might have, well, accidentally slept in the wrong room. It's kind of uh, extravagant and really big. You'll get used to it. Come down to the vault. We need to talk about your next steps as an immortal. Will do. Okay, so like from this point onwards, now that you're in the Palafon, there's going to be all of the characters you spoke to during the party. They're going to have new dialogue options. And if you uh, come on the touchpad and you zoom in a bit, you can see where they are because they've got a little symbol here, a little speech bubble. So yeah, just speak to them again every time you're back at the Palafon. And like I said, you'll get the trophy for it. There's a lot of symbols on the map. Some of them, I don't even know what they bloody do. And I'm, I'm not too far ahead off camera either. I've had barely any time to play. I think I've finished the Hand of Sandrak and maybe a bit of the next chapter. So I'm still very flipping uh, close to where I am on YouTube, so there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Which is annoying as hell, because I like to be able to tell you guys and girls, but I still don't know myself. Oh, there's the, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, the guy that um, was annoyed that she didn't put a spell on him. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. You can't beat the first Hocus Pocus, can you? Still haven't seen the second one. God knows if it's good or not. Let me know in the comments. Because it's a Netflix, ain't it? A Netflix exclusive. I said, Netflix are bringing back so many bloody things. Oh, no. No Disney Plus in it. Yeah, yeah, never mind. They're bringing back Chicken Run 2 soon in December, I think. That's going to be a banger. Can't be a bit of Ardman Studios. Wallace and Gromit. Sean the Bloody Sheep. Chicken Run. Very nice. Now that you're an immortal, Jack, do you want to know a secret? Yes. <laughs> that you actually have hobbies? These all yours? What do you think of them? I think I haven't seen enough of the world. I don't recognize any of these. That's because they all were driven to extinction by the Ever War. How? Since we first learned to use magic, we've waged war over who would control it. It isn't meant to be used so violently and so unchecked and for so long. The natural world suffers for it. Their habitats die. Their waters are ruined. Their skies are choked. Their lands are crystallized or filled with hungry spirits they can't compete with. Our magic causes ruin for every living thing, Jack. 
It causes the wound. We caused the wound? I told you that we draw magic from the ley lines, from the shrouded realm. To be more precise, we siphon it to use as we will. And it stays here, but it's not meant to. And no one's ever discovered how to actually put it back. It punches its way back down. All that magic over all that time. And so the wound grows. But without magic... We can't win the war to control magic. Correct. So, we're destroying Avium while we're trying to save Avium? Yep. That's the secret. This secret sucks. It's insane. Does Sandrak know this? Of course he does. All the Orders do. Then why the hell are we fighting? Everyone needs to just stop. You want to be the first side to quit? Because you trust Sandrak that much. Because mankind can always be counted on to do the reasonable thing. I have wanted to wield magic my whole life. And now you're telling me I... <laughs> You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. Then we start thinking about how to fix the wound. You don't win in ever war. It's brick walls like that make you take up painting in your spare time. Isn't there something else th that we can do about it, I mean? Yes. Go to that spell altar. What spell will it grant me? One that hopefully eases your conscience. Well, I mean, the spell you're going to give me does kind of ease my conscience, but it really doesn't do anything to stop the wound. <laughs> so basically, every time we use magic, we pull magic from the ley lines, and the ley lines all lead into the shrouded realm, which is basically in the center of this planet, I guess, or beneath this planet. And then when we're sucking out all of the uh, magic from the ley lines and using it, it then starts floating around in the world, and it wants to go back to the shrouded realm, so it smashes through the floor to get back to its home in the shrouded realm, and that's created the wound. It's a bit weird, though, because you'd think it would just go straight down to smash through the floor and there'd be like holes in the floor everywhere. Earth would look like cheese or this planet would look like cheese, Swiss cheese. <laughs> but no, for some reason it all just goes to the wound bit and smashes its way down to get back to the centre. And then the wound, which is what we saw at the start of the game where Jack lived above, uh, is getting bigger and bigger. That's pretty really crazy, that is. Reckless, overtaxed, and broken magic often leaves corruption behind. You grew up with it in Saren, the deposits that would accumulate in the Underbridge. There, it's a nuisance. But larger, more malignant versions exist. Part of the Immortal's mandate is to restore those areas of the world overrun with this corruption. That spell is the key. Restore them with magic. The same magic that causes it and, oh yeah, also the wound. The irony isn't lost on anyone. In the meantime, you have more pressing concerns. Zendara is waiting for you in the war chamber to brief you on a mission. Really? Please don't say she's my field commander. Run along. Your field commander's waiting. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay. So you know those uh, barnacles that we've been shooting and they give us essence? Well, basically, there's just big, big versions of them that you need to restore with your new power. And it always makes this weird little, like, monstery thing appear that you've got to kill. But I think you get rewarded with some, uh, maybe some, uh, essence, maybe? Or maybe you just get experience, I'm not sure. But they're normally blocking paths that you need to take, so you have to do it. Man, hopefully we get some action today. It's been a lot of chit-chat today. I do apologise. Maybe I shouldn't have spoken to all of those optional characters. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. They gave us a bunch of useful information. Except Devin. He didn't really give me much useful information. Except maybe about Zendara. Oh, now we've got another guy to speak to. <laughs> this is the guy that uh, Devin said should have been here for the party. H Hassam or whatever. 
Basically, if you speak to him, he tells you that he is an assassin and he works for um, the Immortals to take down specific targets and that he can share ones with me. And he says, if I ever hear of the six, I need to kill them. And the six are the ones I already mentioned. You find them inside the Shroud fans and they're like the elite enemies of this game. Optional tough enemies to defeat, which maybe we'll do, depending on how long this playthrough goes on for. All right, let's grab a few bits of lore. Apologies, I don't read the law. If you want, if you want to watch a, a channel that reads all the law, watch my cousin Doomlight94. He always reads all of the documents and law. So if you like that kind of thing, he'll be the perfect channel for you to subscribe to. I mean, you should you should subscribe anyway. But if you love that kind of stuff, definitely subscribe. Right. So we got what we actually what have I actually got equipped at the moment? I've got a level 12. Okay, so we want to get preferably some of that. Hang on a minute. That's a rank 1 for the amount of damage it does. That's crazy. Right, let's deconstruct these. Sweet. If we get some more blue essence. And a bit more money, we'll be able to. Uh... Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to get. It gives me seventy armor, which is a bit less armor, obviously, which is a shame. But it, it increases my shield power by forty percent. So we're going to grab this and use this. It's going to be very, very useful. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. That little crayon symbol is because I upgraded them, if you're wondering. Okay. I don't know if I want to buy one of these. Hmm. Because we're going to find, there's a bunch of chests and we are going to find a bunch of upgrades. Ah, oh, the shield ring. Right, we're going to leave it for now. We need to get some more blue essence. <laughs> we're very low on blue essence. I've been doing a lot of stuff involving the blue essence and it's all bloody gone. Plus, we want to get 100 saved up so we can upgrade our health pack. Clock's ticking. Yes, sir. Uh, you do outrank me, right? I, uh, wow, this place is kind of big. I uh, must have gotten lost. <laughs> Intel indicates that the hand is operating near the Pale Forest, and we've just lost contact with our outpost there. What's so important about the forest? Strategically, nothing. The Leyline Tower there has been dead for a hundred years. And yet she's taking a big risk attacking so close to the Palathon. You still with me, Initiate? Not an Initiate. That's not even a rank. Y you know, I checked. Nightblades have established a stronghold at the southern edge of the forest. We'll attack on both sides. We? Oui. You're coming? I mean, what about Devin? Devin is needed elsewhere. And Kirkin seems to think you might not get me killed. Jury's still out on that one. Sure, thanks. Don't leave the portal open for me or anything. Guess I'm walking. Portals allow you to instantly travel across Avium. Use portals or shortcuts or to return to areas you previously explored. After learning new augment spells, you may be able to unlock new areas. Lovely. Between major story missions, you can use portals to revisit previous areas. Use your new abilities to unlock shroud fans and find golden chests for special rewards. Well, that sounds delicious. I do like a good golden chest. Don't give a shit about the shroud fans, mind you. But sometimes they do give me a health upgrade, which I'm very happy about. But other than that, I don't give a shit about them. <laughs> They're just a pain in the ass. Lovely. Right, so we're basically, I think we're going to be going back to the same area that we were at when we were heading towards the Palathon. But we're going to be taking a different route to get to the Pal Forest. Yeah, you can see how big the game is. You've got all those f uh, five different districts. And that thing in the center is the Pentaside or whatever it is that they talk about. The thing that's, that everybody seems to worship. 
Okay, so we're going to be going to Lucium, and we'll go uh, travel to the Grey, the Greyvale Plaza. Let's see that PS5 SSD in action. Yeah, could have been quicker. Could have been a lot quicker, actually. Oh, it's brought me back here. But this bloody annoying puzzle is that I still ain't done. I'll do it one day. <laughs> right. Yeah, we yeah we don't want to go in there. I made that mistake off camera. Hello, immortal. Kirkan told me you know our um secret about magic causing the wound that we're all destroying Avium. She sure did. Yeah, bit of a gut punch that one. This restoring spell, it really cleanses the lurge. That, that's what we used to call it in Saren. Lurge? What an absolutely perfect name. Lurge. Yes, it works. And you'll feel better about the whole thing when you use it. Trust me. Well, not really. I mean, I might get rid of a weird, like, growth on the planet, but I'm still actually making the wound bigger, which means slowly but surely we're going to lose our entire home. Especially, especially for Jack, because the wound is basically where his home is. They built the flipping, they built all of their uh, homes on the wound. Pretty, very stupid idea. <laughs> As always, don't step on that because you'll take some damage, especially on a more difficult way. Okay, right. Now this flipping thing that you're gonna fight, he does teleport around amongst these like little, little chunks of uh, vine. So yeah, he's gonna move around a bit. So be ready for it. I don't know what it is, it's like some sort of like toxic eel. I think I, I think I stepped, oh, oh bloody hell man, it like poisons me. Oh no, we just got some gold. I thought you, I thought you always got some uh, essence for killing those things. Oh, that sucks. But whilst we're walking around, as always, we need to keep our eyes open uh, for some of the um, for some of the uh, little flying um, balls of magic, so we can get some ascension points. Cast green spells to shed enemy regen. Oh yeah, I already knew about that. You see that little green thing above them? If you shoot them, it gets rid of the health regen if you shoot them with green magic. I flipping hate these green guys because they put these stupid little green balls on the floor that pop. <laughs> Oh look, you hit yourself, didn't ya? Hey, you fucking moron. Holy shit, I got four ascension points. What, what am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Beowulf? Sort yourself out, mate. Jesus Christ. Right, let's have a look on here. I think there's a... Uh... Oh yeah, reduce the cooldown of Blink. We want to grab that. Defeating an enemy with any fury spell restores 10% of your maximum health. What's a fury spell? Is that a thing where I like the uh, shatter ability in that? I think it might be. Increase the damage of blue sigil strikes. Is that where I pull people over to me? That's not that, is it? No, that's this. Reduce cooldown of lash by 10%. I will grab that. Thank you very much. Increased health of shield spell by 50%. God damn, I will definitely take that. Very thank you very much. I need to get a lot of the blue ones. Blue and green is where I need to focus, but they're all useful. <laughs> when you're playing this difficulty, they're all bloody useful. If you're playing this on a lower difficulty, you can just go with whatever you want. Just increase the, the, uh, the points in the uh, one you enjoy the most, whatever magic you use the most, you know? But, um... On this difficulty, you need a bit of everything, because they're all very useful. Green for all of the extra additional healing type stuff. Uh, blue for all of this extra shield stuff. <laughs> oh, 
we don't want to go over there. Not right now. We want to at least make some progress into this story mission because we've done too much talking in this video and it's not even been from me. <laughs> it's been from the characters. Lovely. We will get quite a lot of resources uh, during this uh, mission, the Hand of Sandrak. We'll find quite a lot of chests. So by the end of this mission, we should be able to definitely get the upgrade where it allows me to hold four health crystals instead of three. Almost a guarantee. These floating things, I don't I think they, I think you might be able to lash onto them or something or swing around, but every time I see them, I think there's like magic floating around that I need to shoot. To get some more experience. Oh, hello. What's this? The Magnus Decree. Probably telling everybody to stay home, ain't it? Oh, Crimson Bands. We're not going to change them, though, because our, our braces at the moment are um, giving us more shield. You always know when enemies are going to appear because there's a little bit of a frame rate drop. Uh, only slightly, but it's a little bit of a drop. It's like, oh, yeah, here come the baddies. So powerful, they're fucking with my PS5. How'd you like that, you bitch? <laughs> fucking suck my knuckle. One thing I should say, actually, I should have probably have mentioned this at the start of the episode. There's currently uh, one of those, um, you know, the fun fairs that travel around. They set up in your local park. Well, there's currently a fun fair that set itself up in my park that's basically next to my house. And um, I don't know what time it opens, but if it does open early, I don't think it does. It's normally in the evening, but I'm not 100% sure. If it does open early for some reason, just a word of warning, you will hear it in the background. No amount of editing can get rid of that. It's stupidly loud. Lots of people shouting on microphones and also a lot of uh, music. Repetitive music as well that I have to hear every day. And it's, it's there for all the way till Sunday. I'm recording this on Friday. The, uh, is that the 8th? The 8th of September. Just looking for chests, don't mind me. I can see a barnacle over there. Yes, I can. And I don't know if I saw a chest then. Oh. Nope. Must be imagining things. Wait. Always good to unlock a portal. I get it. That's a speedy little devil. I got it! <laughs> oh shit! Oh for God's sake! <laughs> Fell all the way, all the way back down here now. God's sake! Well, at least we got it. Oh, what's that for? There's another barnacle over there. Oh, there's a bloody ah oh, for God's sake! Man, I reckon collecting all of the chests in this game. There's 120 of these gold chests. I reckon it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Because every single chest seems to have some sort of puzzle you need to solve. Or some sort of secret door you need to open. Man, platinum for this game is going to be a right brutal one. Oh, hello. Oh, this is where the... Uh... Oh, hang on a minute. What's it? Oh, yeah. Use Olympus. 
What are they? They're flipping uh, golems, stone golems or some shit. Oh, that's got some bloody range on it, ain't it? Fuck me, you see how far that went? They take a lot of damage in the head, I think. Where'd the other one go? Oh, that was... That was very... Oh, yeah, I must have already killed it. Drop some blue essence. Oh, ten blue essence. Lovely. Yeah, this is... Um, I think this might be the chest that gave me 12k off camera. <laughs> I, f I don't know why it gave me 12k. I guess because it's like slightly more hidden, maybe. I bet I won't get 12k. I bet it was just random, wasn't it? No, no, look, 12k. That's crazy. Right, I know there's another, another puzzle over here. That takes me back to the Palafon. I think I want to go back. Or it lets me fast travel anywhere, actually. But there's a, there's a bunch of... Um, what's it called? A bunch of... Um, yeah, it's this one right here. There's a gold chest there. Let me show you. I don't think... I, I think I might need to come back later when I've unlocked a new ability. But I'll show you. Um, you're going to come over here. And I think we'll see one of the green ones when we come up here. There's a little. I ain't gonna make it, I ain't gonna make it, I ain't gonna make it, I ain't gonna. Yeah, I knew that was coming a mile away. How are we supposed to open that? But basically, there's gonna be a, a, a few of the green uh, things up there for that door. Well, I think that there's one up there. There's. Oh, wait, what's that? Hang on, mate. What's that? I'll see you, you cheeky devil. Oh, that's bullshit. I didn't hit that. <laughs> I didn't hit that. That, no, that. They just gave me that one for free. <laughs> they, they felt sympathy for me. I did not hit that. I never have a good shot like that. So there's one there. There's one up there behind that wall, which you get by doing that jump that I just did. But then there's another barrier at the back. Yeah, there's no point in me going up there. I think I need the ability to take down the blue barriers. Of this, on the other hand, I've got no idea where the thing is for this. It's red, apparently. And you have to be... It has to be somewhere in range of the chest, because you need to be able to use your limpet at the same time. That's why it's such a pain in the ass. Oh my god, is it another one? I thought we already got this one. Oh, sweet. Yeah, there's a lot of optional things we can do, but never mind. As long as we're keeping ourselves upgraded enough, that's all that matters to me. Okay. Yeah, we haven't made much progress in this video, mostly because of the chit-chat. So in the next video, we'll get a lot more done. So I'm going to have to end it in a second. Probably come through this door and have to end it, I guess. For the next video, there's going to be a lot of combat. I've reached the forest entrance, sir. Good. I'm approaching from the east. Our target is the Leyline Tower. Scouts have spotted activity in that area. I thought you said it was dead. What does the hand want with it? That's the question. And it's just us? No backup or anything? We're immortals, Initiate. We don't need backup. Exactly. I was going to say the same thing, Jack. We don't need no damn backup. I mean, we're supposed to be doing this mission with her, and she's not even here at the moment. She's pissed off somewhere else. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, Wolf Morbets. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, the commentary was all right and all that good stuff. And yeah, like, share, and join the pack today.